everyone and welcome to this math video. This is a math OED1 video where we learn how to add and subtract signed numbers. In my first video, I gave a brief overview of different ways to add and subtract signed numbers and discussed the key concept is that the negative sign belongs to the number that it is in front of. Okay, and again, my overall goal for you guys in this course is math fluency. So in the second video, I discussed the money method. The third video, we talked about the number line. Um, my most recent video was the sign chip method. So in this video, we're gonna learn what's called the SSSDDD method. And that's not gonna make sense until I explain it. So let's get started. So the bottom line here is that if you have same signs, two numbers with the same sign, that um, they are gonna be cumulative. Whereas if you have different signs, um, then they are going to be subtracted from each other, okay? So we're going to do these two examples, and then we'll do a few more, okay? So let's first go through and f determine whether we are working with same or different signs, okay? So that's going to be our first question to ourselves. Are these the same, or are they different signs? Same or different, okay? So negative 7 and positive 2, what do you guys think? Is it, are they the same or different signs? Well, I think that they're opposite. They're different signs, okay? So we're going to have the DDD. We know that they're different signs, which means we have to find the difference of them. We have to subtract absolute values by making um, the larger number positive and the smaller number negative. Okay, so we do 7 minus 2, which is 5. Then, right, we're kind of wondering, well, is it really 5 or maybe it should be negative 5? We're not really sure about this. We have a lot of questions about it. So determine, to determine whether the final answer is positive or negative, we look for the dominant term. So which one is bigger? Is the negative number larger or is the positive number larger? Which one is a larger absolute value? Okay, so the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. The absolute value of 2 is 2. 7 is the larger number and it's negative, so it wins the game, as it were. Okay, so we would say that the final answer, because negative 7 is bigger than positive, or negative 7, the absolute value of negative 7 is bigger than the absolute value of 2, um, that wins, as it were, so then we say the answer is 5. Okay, so let's try this next problem. We have a 5 minus 3. So remember in my previous videos, I talked about how you could really rewrite this as 5 plus negative 3 because that 3 really, I'm sorry, the negative sign really belongs to the 3. So we have a positive 5 and a negative 3. So are they different or are they the same? So I think they're different. They're opposite in signs. One's plus, one's minus. So I literally just go ahead and subtract them. I have 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, and if you're worried, wait a minute, should it be 2 or should it be negative 2 and you're not really sure which one it is, right? You look back and say, well, which one um, is the bigger number, right? So 5 is larger than 3, 5 is, excuse me, positive, so therefore your final answer is positive. So, so far we've only seen examples with the different signs. So let's do a few with the same signs. So let's say I have um, negative 3 minus 2, okay? Again, remember, you could rewrite this as negative 3 plus negative 2, okay? The negative signs belong to the number that they're in front of, okay? Um, as you can see, both of them are the same sign, right? So if we go back to the same signs, that means that we add the absolute value of the signs, and then the sign of the answer is the same as the original numbers, Okay, so negative 3 plus negative 2 is then negative 5, right? Because, right, 3 plus 2 is 5, okay? And then to figure out what the sign of the answer is, all we have to do is look at the sign of the actual numbers in the problem. All right, let's do um, one more. So we've done two negative numbers. What if we had um, two positive numbers? So let's say I have um, 12 plus 7. Okay, so this is pretty standard, right? Um, this is probably something you could do before you even got into this class. 12 plus 7, you just do 19. Again, they're both positive, so it stays 19. 
and that's it.